Hi, I'm Adelina. And I'm Veronica. And, and this, this is Dissolving Bodies 101. We want to welcome you to the BSN. We are internationally British and have over 80 nationalities represented across our four campuses. The school not only has outstanding exam achievements, but also has a diverse student body who participate in many extracurricular activities. We are two year 12 IB students taking chemistry and we wanted to take advantage of the wide range of facilities the school has to offer to satisfy our own curiosity about whether it is actually possible to get rid of a body using acid. We will be using the acids that can be most commonly found, nitric, sulfuric and hydrochloric. All three of these are strong acids, which means they have lots of H plus ions. They are also concentrated, meaning they have lots of acid molecules dissolved in a relatively small amount of water. Acids are proton donors, however only strong acids dissociate completely in water, forming hydrogen ions, which makes it possible for hydrolysis to occur, thus breaking the bonds in the molecule being dissolved. Exciting! Some acids, such as nitric acid, are oxidizing agents, meaning they are electron acceptors. On top of being a strong acid and an oxidizing agent, sulfuric acid is also a dehydrating agent, meaning it removes water. We tested a different range of materials, which we thought could be used to represent different parts of the body. The sausage represented flesh, muscle, and fat. The metals represented coins or other metals in the body. And the bone represented, well, bone. The broccoli represented fibers, such as in clothing. The gummy bears represented the sugars in the body. And the plastic represented any plastic in the body, such as dentures, which we discovered would need to be removed as they would not be dissolved. We used glass beakers for the experiment. However, when trying to dissolve a body, it may be best to use something a little less brittle, such as plastic. Our conclusive results show that most of the body would be dissolved, other than plastic, and the bones would take a long time to completely dissolve. The acids need to be strong and concentrated for this to work. Sulfuric acid would be used to dissolve organic materials and nitric for metals. From these results, to dissolve a body, you would need to leave it in a mixture of acids for a very long time, at least probably a week. Somewhere isolated and ventilated, we used a fume cupboard for our experiment. Thank, Thank you for watching, and remember, don't try this at home! home.